about 28 years ago, um, I started fundraising. So um, unfortunately, I'd lost some family and friends to cancer. And at that time, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I was in my early 20s. And then seven years ago, I actually got the opportunity to work for the charity. So I can combine fundraising when I'm not working and then helping support fundraising when I am working, which is just brilliant. I think it's so important. Unfortunately, nowadays, you know, it's two in four people that are diagnosed. 20 plus years ago, it's one in four. And what we're trying to achieve by 2034 is three in four. Um, when I was younger, you didn't always know somebody, but whereas now, unfortunately, you do. But with the research, people are living with cancer. And for me, especially with the Stand Up To Cancer campaign, it's getting out there, talking about it. And I think if people can recognise that it's the early diagnosis and that's why people are hearing about it more, if somebody has cancer, we can do something about it. So um, I live in a lovely village out in Ampleforth and we've got an event this Friday, um, which is at the White Swan. It's Elvis night. I'm not a massive Elvis fan, but we thought it'd be really fun. So we've sold tickets and the idea is we're just trying to raise as much money as we can for Stand Up To Cancer. And I thought to highlight it in the village and when I'm walking around is that A, I would have my T-shirt on and my orange hat. But I also thought it'd be quite fun to get the dogs wearing orange jackets because then people stop me and kind of, it's not normal to be having four black labs with jackets on. Um, and just really to try and promote the event, but also promote awareness for people to raise money. I don't know how popular the coats are with the dogs. Um, so we've got Kissy Zoo's 11, we've got Tony the Gangster who's three, we've got Sky who's five, and then we've got Baby Pepper who'll be one in December. Um, I think they're just like, oh, it's my crazy mother <laughs> going out. But it's a great awareness um, and we've had some great coverage. Mm -hmm. And do you know what? Everybody comes up to us and actually ask, A, what we're doing and how great the dogs do look. So for me, it works, even though I might look a little bit crazy. <laughs> I mean, it was my birthday on Monday and I did a bit of a shout out on social media. And rather than asking for cards or presents, people donated. And I only put a £150 target and over £200 so far. So it makes you feel really good and feel like you're actually doing something. But everybody can get involved. My niece Heidi's got involved, my sisters, my friends, my husband doesn't get away with it. So he's been, he takes the dogs out with their orange jackets on as well. Well, we were hoping to raise about 5,000, but with all the supporters that I kind of work with and support, we're on our way to raise 10,000 pounds, which is absolutely brilliant. But, you know, I think every penny, um, I know that Stand Up To Cancer will be soon saying what we've raised overall, and it will be actually in the millions, but every penny counts. If whatever you've got, don't ever think that that isn't gonna help because it does. If everybody gave a little, we'd be beating cancer sooner and we really want to work towards 2034 where three and four people are diagnosed but actually living longer with it.